So we got 55 subscribers. And I promised a Q&A, so here we go. If you watch anime, what is your favorite one? Um, I've only really watched Studio Ghibli movies, which I'm pretty sure count as anime. And I've also watched all of Avatar The Last Airbender and some of The Legend of Korra, but I don't really think that counts as anime because it was made in the United States. Any advice for getting good at drawing? No, just practice pretty much. It sounds cliche, but it's really the only way you can get better. Also, don't use any of those drawing tutorial books. They don't help. I just... I don't like them because they only teach you how to draw a very specific thing and they don't really teach you how, like, what, like, how to transfer that stuff into your other art. How do you have such a cool voice? I don't. Uh, what's your favorite Pokemon game? I've only played about three, which I know makes me sound like a fake fan, but I'm not. It's still a really good franchise. But my favorite game out of all of them would probably be Pokemon Emerald, because it has Mudkip in it, and Mudkip is my favorite Pokemon. Who is your favorite fictional character? Uh, I'm actually not sure. If I had to pick one, I would probably pick Amity from the Owl House right now, but that's because I'm deeply engrossed in the fandom. Um, it just changes depending on what I'm like watching or reading at the time. What would you do with one million dollars? Put most of it into a bank and spend the rest on whatever I need. Why the name Toasted Marshmallow Animations? Uh, I, I have no idea. I was just walking through school one day and I was like, Toasted Marshmallow is a pretty good name. And the only other competitor for a name was really Toasted Marshmallow on a Stick. But I decided that that would be too long and complicated for people to remember. What do you use for animation? I use Adobe Animate. I do not recommend it. Don't get me wrong, it's a great program, which is kind of why I use it. But it also costs $30 per month. It's way overpriced. Don't use it, especially if you're a new artist. I'm, I can only use it because no other programs work for me now. What are your thoughts on OWO? Uwu. Skipping past the digital drawing and animating, what quick tips can you give on how to upload a video? Well, if you're talking about from Adobe Animate, which you are because it says in the comment, um, I use this program called Swivel. It's free and you just import your Adobe Animate movies and you can use audio directly from it and it turns it into an MP4 file that you can easily upload. What's your favorite food? Pizza, because it's good in any situation. Do you play any instruments? I play the saxophone, but only for school. What advice would you give to beginner animators? Um, look up tutorials, and also if you're just getting a drawing tablet, then I would recommend actually getting good at drawing on it first. When I got my drawing tablet, I was like, I want to start an animation channel, and that's the first thing I tried to do. I barely practice at all, and that's why I can't draw digitally anymore. If you were put on a deserted island, what is one thing you would take with you? A helicopter to get out. Favorite animal? Bird, because I think they would be awesome as pets. Favorite color? Light red, but not pink, like salmon, I guess you'd call it. Favorite number? 16. Have you considered doing a speed paint video? Just wondering, keep doing story times if that's what you like. Um, I've considered doing it, and I've actually recorded a few, but I haven't uploaded any because I think they all suck. How did you get into YouTube? Well, I started watching YouTube, um, when I was like six or seven. I only watched Stampy Longnose because of his Minecraft videos. And he was like the biggest YouTuber, and he still makes great content, so you should go watch him. But if you're talking specifically about story time and animation, I started watching The Odd Ones Out and Jaden Animations, like pretty much everyone else did. And yeah, it just grew from there. I started watching other animators. Another big influence was Brody Animates, because I like his videos a lot. How did you get into drawing? Uh, I'm not really sure. <laughs> I just like started drawing, and I thought it was cool, and I saw other people's art, and it was cool, so I was like, I want to do that, and I did. How old are you? I don't want to answer that. Do you want to make YouTube your full-time job? Yeah, I think it would be pretty awesome to be able to be a full-time independent animator. 
Um, but I don't have enough subscribers or views or anything to get that yet. And it's gonna take a while if I really wanna do it. Who's your favorite YouTuber? Jaden Animations right now. She makes the best consistent content. Yeah, that's the end of the Q&A. Um, thanks a lot to anyone that submitted questions. I had a lot of fun reading them out loud to myself in my basement. And again, seriously, thanks guys for getting me to 50 subscribers. I never really thought I could actually do this. But yeah, thanks, and I'll see you later. All right, um, that's the end of the Q&A. Thanks to everyone who submitted questions. It definitely took a lot longer than I thought it would to animate. So again, sorry for the wait. But um, I hope it's worth it. And yeah, I certainly liked it a lot, but I did not like making it especially the end, but yeah, that's whatever. Um, I have a couple things. So first of all, I have these two pieces of fan art that people sent to me and they're really good. <laughs> Thanks a lot for sending them. Um, yeah, it's really nice to have people send me art. And the other thing is I'm thinking of opening up for commissions, specifically for profile pictures, because that's the only thing I can really draw. So yeah, just tell me in the comments if you think that would be cool. And yeah, thanks a ton for 56 subscribers now. For the next milestone, which is 100, I will sell some stickers and do a tutorial. And now for some bonus scenes that I forgot to include because I am an idiot. Alright, let's get this gamer time going on. I think it would be funny if I actually included this in the actual video. I might, but that's for future me to decide. Um, so congratulations on the 50 subs from YouTuber to another. That was really fast. My questions are, why do you choose Adobe Animate? It's really easy to use and it's way better than Krita. And Krita had this weird problem where my lines would get all like pixely. And it just looked really ugly, and I hated it a lot. So I tried out Adobe Animate, and I have never tr and I have never gone back since. What inspired you to have a YouTube channel? Well, it was definitely mostly other animators, and I thought, wow, that would be cool to have one of those. And I made one, and here we are. If you're asking like which specifically, it was definitely Jaden Animations and The Odd Ones Out, first of all, but also definitely Brody Animates, Ice Cream Sandwich, Noodle, and CGP Grey. Do you draw digitally outside of animating? I do a little bit, but not as much as I would like to. I definitely draw more on my phone, which is kind of ironic because I got a drawing tablet so that I could draw better on the computer but yeah that's yeah that's why <laughs> it's gonna be a pain to edit this do you like brawl stars um no not really i don't really play that much i used to i thought it was kind of cool but then i just uninstalled it because i needed space for other games all right from the green lemon questions for the q a how did you start this channel did anyone inspire you Jaden Animations, Brody Animates, The Odd Ones Out, etc, etc. Just pretty much, yeah, pretty much those only. And here's another question that I forgot to answer. This is Future Toast, by the way. So this is from Pinko. Most hated Pokemon. Well, I mean, if I had to choose my most hated... Either the new Galar starters, because they're just really bland, or the trash Pokemon, because it's really ugly and serves no actual purpose in the game. Please explain your current animation persona. Well, um, I definitely got the beanie from Brody Animates. Sorry about that, Brody. Um, the sweatshirt. It's gray because one of my favorite sweatshirts is also gray, but I need to update that because that sweatshirt no longer fits me. And yeah, I like the color of the red on the beanie is light red instead of 
maroon or dark red um because i think it's a really nice color and it's easy on the eyes and also i like salmon as a color so yeah yeah also the circle hands because i can't draw real hands